100 GAX from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. 100 GAX, stylized in all lowercase, is an American musical duo consisting of Dylan Brady and Laura Les, formed in 2015. They self-released their debut album, 1000 Gex, in 2019 to critical acclaim, followed by a companion remix album, 1000 Gex and The Tree of Clues, in July 2020. Their music has been noted for its often chaotic yet catchy mixture of various styles and has been described as exemplifying the 2010s genre, hyperpop. Section 1. History 2015-2018, to Formation and Early Years Brady and Les, who lived just miles apart in the St. Louis area, Kirkwood and Webster Groves, respectively, first met during high school at a rodeo. However, they first had the idea to collaborate after meeting again at a house party in 2012. In winter of 2015, Les and Brady first produced music together, recording in Chicago, and eventually self-releasing their first EP, 100 Gex, on July 12, 2016. The origin of the name 100 Gex is disputed, as Brady and Les have been giving varying and contradictory explanations and interviews. Despite plans to record more music, they were unable to find the time until they performed a breakout DJ set together for the 2019 Minecraft Fire Festival. Following that collaboration, they continued to work on songs and released their debut album, 1000 Gex, on May 31st, 2019, to positive reviews. According to Will Pritchard of The Independent, the album helped to consolidate the eclectic 2010s hyper-pop style by taking the genre to, quote, its most extreme and extremely catchy conclusions. Stadium-sized trap beats processed and distorted to near destruction, overwrought emo vocals, and cascades of ravey arpeggios. In September 2019, it was announced that 100 Gex and Slow Thigh would support Brockhampton on their Heaven Belongs to You tour. Later that year, 100 Gex also headlined six additional shows of their own in various cities along the tour. In November 2019, the duo appeared on the Adult Swim web series Fish Center Live and performed the songs 800 dB Cloud and Stupid Horse in front of a green screen back backdrop of an aquarium. 100 Gex were named An Artist You Need to Know by Rolling Stone in 2019. New York Times music critic John Karamanika called 1000 Gex the best album of 2019, and it was rated among the best albums of the year by Crack Magazine, Noisy, Paper, Pitchfork, and Stereo Gum. Towards the end of 2019, Brady announced a remix album by the duo, tentatively titled 1000 Gex and the Phantom Menace, and set to feature artists including A.G. Cook and Injury Reserve. The album was later retitled 1000 Gex and the Tree of Clues, which Les referred to as a companion to the original. Tree of Clues was released on July 10th, 2020. Several singles were released prior to the album. A.G. Cook's remix of Money Machine was released in October 2019, followed by Injury Reserve's remix of 745 Sticky in November 2019. Ringtone remix featuring Charlie XCX, Rico Nasty, and Caro Caro Bonito, which was released in February 2020.
100 Gex signed with Atlantic Records in 2020. Brady told NME they are, quote, trying to be really big, trying to be as big as Ed Sheeran. But Les said that Atlantic was, quote, a good fit. There's so many things that they could help us accomplish. In October 2020, 100 Gex commenced an artist residency at New York University's Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, they were scheduled to perform at Coachella in April 2020. 100 Gex headlined another Minecraft festival, Square Garden, in April 2020 along with musical artists Charlie XCX, Cara Caro Bonito, Dorian Electra, and Kashmir Cat. In June 2020, they stated in an interview with The 45 that they hoped to provide a soundtrack to a Disney movie. In August 2020, it was announced that 100 Gex would perform at the Reading and Leeds Festivals in August 2021. Following the group's success, the Pine Tree depicted on the album covers of 1000 Gex and remix album Tree of Clues became popular among fans. Soon the 1000 Gex tree was found and revealed to be located in an Acuity Brands owned office park in Des Plaines, Illinois, near O'Hare International Airport. Fans began making pilgrimages to the tree and leaving items behind. In the Chicago Tribune, the tree and its fame were compared to the house on the cover of American Football's American Football, released in 1999, located in Urbana, Illinois. The music video for their single, Money Machine, was filmed in the same office park just before the photo was taken. Section 2. Production Style and Influences The duo works on tracks by sending Logic Pro project files between the two, iterating songs each time. Les called the process, quote, sort of an exquisite corpse type thing. Their music has been called an quote, anarchic assault on the ears that pulls conventional pop tropes in every dimension possible, as well as, quote, abrasive maximalist pop with elements of pop punk, nightcore, ska, dubstep, deconstructed club, trance, metal, and happy hardcore, all thrown into one big internet blunder, resulting in, quote, songs that shift gears dozens of times in a way that recalls Kid 606 or Venetian Snares, end quote. Also earning comparisons with label PC music and band sleigh bells. Les explained that the merging of genres is more natural than people think, adding that the group, quote, didn't expect that 1000 Gex would resonate with people so much. Brady has said that 100 Gex style is influenced by Breathe Carolina, John Zorn, and Icy Stars, among other bands. Les calls their musical process, quote, very much an improv mentality, and has said that they, quote, try to have fun and write songs that we would want to listen to, adding that, quote, the whole idea of labeling genres is not super important to us, end quote. Les became interested in making music as a teenager when she got her first guitar. She has said that she, quote, kind of always just wanted to be a songwriter and loves anything with a catchy melody, end quote. She has cited Naked City, Playboy Cardi, 3OH, exclamation point 3, Cannibal Corpse, and various PC music artists as influences. Both of them were heavily inspired by Skrillex's song, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites. Section 3, Band Members and Solo Work. Section 3, Band Members and Solo Work. Dylan Brady. Brady became interested in music 
after being part of his high school choir and studied audio engineering in college for three years before moving to Los Angeles's fashion district. He additionally produces and records music under his name. In 2019, Brady co-produced the song Click from Charlie XCX album Charlie. Charlie XCX explained that she heard about Brady via her fans and quote, listens to 100X constantly now. Studio albums are All I Ever Wanted, released in 2015. This Car Needs Some Wheels, released in 2019 with Josh Pan. Extended Plays, Saxophone Joe, 2014. Joker, 2016. Senses, 2017 with Bloom. Dog Show, 2017. And Peace and Love, released 2018. Liz now releases music under her own name. However, she formally released music under the moniker OSNO1. Les has cited being transgender as contributing to her exploration of different singing styles, including pitched up nightcore style vocals, which she now uses almost exclusively in her music. In Chicago, she worked at a quote, cross between a coffee shop and an empanada restaurant, end quote and studied acoustical engineering before switching to engineering. Quote, I'm just gonna do music and study something else, she said, in college. As of 2020, she lives in Chicago with her husband, Gabriel. Les participated in a remix album of Katie Day's album, My Data, in early 2021. In March 2021, Les released her solo debut single, Haunted. The song had previously been played at a virtual concert, but was officially released due to a positive response from her fan base. The Daily Californian described the track as immersive and eerie, while Stereo Gum called it energetic and freaked out. Extended plays. Hello Kitty skates to the fucking cemetery released 2016. I just don't want to name it anything with beach in the title. released 2017. Big Summer Jams released 2018. Compilation albums are Remixes 2017 and Lethal Poison for the System also released 2017 with 99 Jakes and Black Dresses. This was recorded currently as of July 18, 2021. This sound file and all texts in the article I license under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License. Available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash B-Y hyphen S-A slash 3.0.